Injuries continue to change the fantasy landscape, so which running back should you put into your lineup? Luckily, SI's fantasy analyst Michael Fabiano is joining me now to break down the playmakers to start and sit in week nine. Fabs, let's start with the backs you like this week. Yeah, I really like Chase Edmonds. How can you not? He's taking over a featured role in Arizona with Kenyon Drake out. This guy's averaged over six yards per carry this season. Some would say he's the better back in the desert. And the Dolphins have allowed an average of 149 scrimmage yards and the seventh most fantasy points to running backs. I have Edmonds ranked among my top 10 running backs for the week, Caitlin. So get him into your lineup. And then Antonio Gibson. He looked like a fantasy superstar before Washington's bye week. Uh, scoring nearly 19 fantasy points against my beloved Dallas Cowboys. He's got the Giants this week. They've allowed five running backs to score at least 16.7 fantasy points against them. That's good news for Gibson, who leads Washington's backfield in snaps and touches, and he's averaging uh, more than 13 fantasy points per game. He's a nice RB2. Superstar might be back this week. Well, you also think, though, David Johnson and Justin Jackson are both backs we're starting this week. But which running backs should fantasy managers just leave on their bench, Babs? Caitlin, I've never said this before in my life, and I feel like I'm in a bizarro world. But I'm sitting Zeke Elliott. Like, I get it. You probably can't. But look at the numbers. Over the last three weeks, he's 28th among running backs based on fantasy points. He's 42nd in points per game among running backs. That's not good. Nobody knows who the Cowboys quarterback's going to be. It could be Cooper Rush. It could be Garrett Gibbler. We're not even sure at this point. And the Steelers' defense is allowing an average of fewer than 80 rushing yards per game and the second fewest points to running back. So if you have depth at the position, Zeke Elliott, I can't believe I'm saying this, should be on your bench. Another player I am shocked to be talking about in this space, Jonathan Taylor, all right? Over the last two games, the gap between Taylor and Jordan Wilkins in terms of snaps and touches has closed, and Wilkins was way better than him last week from a fantasy perspective. The Colts also continue to use Naheem Hines as a pass catcher, and Taylor's dealing with a little bit of an ankle injury. Plus, this matchup against the Ravens is not good. So, once again, if you have depth at running back, Jonathan Taylor would be a fade for me. It's crazy. Only in 2020 would I say to sit Zeke Elliott and Jonathan Taylor. But, Caitlin, here we are. I know. So un so much unpredictable outcomes this year, especially when it comes to fantasy football. But they're not the only guys on your sit list. You also have Devin Singletary versus the Seahawks and James White versus the Jets. Thank you so much for joining me, Fabs. Appreciate the insight. For more insight and Sports Illustrated's award-winning weekly player rankings, get your membership to SI Fantasy Plus for just $14.99 a month.